Hello, I'm Mike Russell from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this mini-series, I'm covering the Adobe Audition Preferences menu, and today we're going to look at autosave and control surfaces. If you're really enjoying what I'm doing, help other people find this channel by liking this video. It really does help. And also, remember, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel and ding the bell so you never miss another video that I release. Now, here we are in Adobe Audition, and I'm going to open up the Preferences menu by hitting Control, Comma. You can do it with Command, Comma on your Mac, and here are all the settings. Today, we're zooming right in on Autosave and Control Surface. Autosave is really handy. It can get you out of a lot of trouble if you're working on a big project a big session file and suddenly audition crashes or you have a power cut you should always be auto saving well really ideally you should always be saving your multi-track sessions anyway yourself but thankfully audition does it for you and there are a few settings here to make sure things are working usually these are ticked by default auto save recovery data every 10 minutes i find that's fine but if you're the paranoid type you can bring it down to every one minute just bear in mind if you do that it's going to be saving in the background every minute and that might disrupt you editing your audio uh, so you want to find a fine balance maybe reduce that down to five minutes and that's enough and then you've got the multi-track session file backup here backup multi-track session files automatically so when you're working on a big multi-track session here you can have it back up automatically at the moment it says every three minutes you can increase or decrease that. The maximum number of backup files should be 10. Now, if you really want to have a big, long list of everything you've been doing in the multi-track over time, you might want to say 30. I mean, you can push this right up to, uh, gosh, there are, there are just so many. You can. I don't think there's any limit here. I wonder if there's any limit. I wonder if I can put back it up a million times. Uh, let's go back in and see if that worked. Auto save. No, the maximum number of times you can back up uh, is 10,000 or maybe 99,999. Let's see if that works. Back into auto save. No, 10,000. Okay, I think 10,000 is more than enough for any user. And then your backup location, Creative Cloud Files. This will put it into your Creative Cloud account, so into the cloud, into the Adobe Cloud, if you're happy with that. Generally, for me, I usually say save it uh, within the session folder. I much prefer that to keep control over where the content is uh, on my own hard disk and then later on decide to put that into the cloud if I wish. But that's just a personal preference, and that's your auto save preferences very easy to understand control surface is only really something you'll want to use if you have an external device plugged into your computer that can control certain features of adobe audition such as palette gear palette gear is fantastic for controlling uh, different things like volume or fades or edits and stuff and you can actually add it here by clicking add and then finding the correct device class when you install the palette gear device drivers palette will appear as an option here You've also got all of these. Mackie is probably the most common. You've got PreSonus Fader Port V1 as well, uh, which is a popular choice. So Mackie will interact with a lot of different devices. Recently, I reviewed the Tascam Model 12. Uh, it's a multi-track mixer that also has control surface integration with all the audio editors, including Audition. And all you have to do is select Mackie here and add it. You can go into the settings as well and add the type. So here we can get to detail with what it is we're adding. Actually, for me, it's found a MIDI keyboard I have plugged in called the LPK25 from iKai. I can actually use that as a control surface to perform form uh, various functions in Audition. But if you've never used a control service before, you don't really need to worry about this. They can add some functionality, uh, like with the Tascam Model 12, you can automate uh, volumes on different tracks in your multi-track over time. You can mute and solo tracks on automation from a physical piece of hardware. And it's all set up here in the control surface section of Adobe Audition by adding the correct device class, finding your device, adding it, and then you can start controlling Adobe Audition remotely using hardware. So I hope autosave and control surface add a little bit of clarity there. Remember to subscribe and ding the bell so you get all of the videos in this series and other audio production tutorials I release. And of course, if you want to learn even more about producing in Adobe Audition, whether it's audio or podcast production or live streaming, head to my courses at mrc.fm forward slash learn. That's mrc.fm forward slash learn.